It seems that the race for air superiority is not only about bombers and fighters, but also about aircraft with aerial refueling capabilities, which are quite important and decisive for the future of the skies today. At the heart of this competition are two rivals, Airbus's A330 MRTT multi-role tanker and Boeing's KC-46 Pegasus. Although both promise to extend the operational range of air forces, countries around the world are increasingly leaning towards the A330 MRTT. But why not the KC-46? How does it outperform the Boeing so convincingly? Let's find out. The Airbus A330 Multi-Role Tanker Transport, or MRTT for short, is derived from the Airbus A330-200 Wide-Body Airliner, which first flew in 1992 and entered commercial service in 1994. Its transformation into a dedicated air-to-air -air refueling and military transport aircraft began in the early 2000s, marked by a landmark contract in December 2004 with Australia to convert five A330-200s to the MRTT configuration. The first Airbus MRTT flew in June 2007, paving the way for rigorous testing and military certification. By 2011, the Royal Australian Air Force had taken delivery of the first aircraft, marking the operational debut of a platform that has since been adopted by more than a dozen countries across Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Renowned for its unmatched fuel capacity, long range, and multi-role versatility, including troop and cargo transport as well as medical evacuation, this MRTT has become the world's leading tanker outside the United States. Most conversions and modifications, including structural and avionics upgrades, are performed at Airbus facilities in Spain, with an average production rate of around five aircraft per year. By contrast, Boeing's KC-46 Pegasus represents the latest evolution in U.S. aerial refueling capabilities, developed from the Boeing 767 commercial platform. Officially launched in 2011, when Boeing won a U.S. Air Force contract to replace its aging KC-135 fleet, the KC-46 introduces a new generation of tankers equipped with both boom and hose refueling systems allowing it to service a wide range of aircraft. Its prototype first flew in December the 20th, 14, and phased operational service began in 2019. Despite technical challenges, most notably with the remote vision system for crane operations, the program continues to progress towards full capability, with 179 aircraft expected to be delivered to the USAF by 2027. Featuring modern avionics, a flexible mission profile, and a redesigned crew station where the crane operator uses advanced vision technology from the front of the aircraft, Boeing's aircraft is primarily targeted to meet U.S. needs, but has also attracted orders from several allied nations. Hold on, that's just the beginning. Next, we'll reveal to you the factors that make Airbus's tanker aircraft so outstanding. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Several countries favor the Airbus A330 MRTT for several compelling reasons. Firstly, it has a proven operational record, having entered service earlier and being widely adopted by NATO members, as well as countries in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Its performance has been proven through successful deployments in combat, humanitarian, and disaster relief missions. Secondly, the aircraft's capacity and versatility make it extremely valuable, especially for countries with limited defense budgets. The aircraft has a higher fuel capacity than its competitors and offers flexible configurations for troop transport, medical evacuation, and VIP transport, allowing it to fulfill a variety of roles beyond aerial refueling. Third, the aircraft has a lower development risk because it is a ready-to-fly platform supported by a mature logistics and maintenance network, whereas competitors such as the Boeing jet are still working out technical issues, including challenges with the remote vision system and the rigidity of the refueling boom. Finally, political and industrial considerations also influence the choice. 
Airbus often offers local assembly opportunities and technology transfer agreements that are attractive to countries seeking greater independence from the U.S. defense supply chain. These operational, technical, and strategic factors together help explain why many countries choose this aircraft over alternatives such as the KC-46. So what does it take to combine them all to produce a compelling superiority? Operationally, the A330M RTT boasts a proven global track record with over 300,000 flight hours accumulated by 15 operators spanning NATO, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Its proven versatility across a wide range of missions, including combat support, humanitarian aid, and disaster relief, underscores its reliability in extreme conditions. In addition, the aircraft's fuel capacity of up to 245,000 pounds, 111,000 kilograms, and extended forward range in excess of 8,500 nautical miles enables sustained aerial refueling operations, critical for modern long-range missions. Additionally, its cabin can be configured to transport up to 300 troops, medical evacuees, or VIP personnel, providing multidimensional capabilities that support a variety of operational scenarios while optimizing fleet utility for nations with limited defense budgets. Technically, the fighter benefits from the maturity of the Airbus A33200 commercial airframe, providing a robust, well-understood platform with an extensive global support infrastructure. This maturity reduces development risk, allows for rapid deployment, and familiar maintenance regimes reduce life cycle costs. The jet also features advanced digital automation, including an autonomous air-to-air -air refueling system to reduce crew workload, advanced communications links such as Link 16 and SATCOM for network operations, and a modular architecture that allows for the integration of new technologies as they evolve. In contrast, Competing platforms, such as the Boeing Pegasus, have faced significant technical challenges, including issues with the remote vision system and refueling boom stiffness, which have slowed down full operational capability and eroded the confidence of some potential international customers. Strategically, the aircraft represents a symbol of technological sovereignty for many countries. Airbus often offers customized industrial engagement packages that include local assembly, technology transfer, and supply chain integration in line with national economic and defense industry development goals. This contrasts with the dependence on the U.S. defense supply chain that accompanied the KC-46 acquisition, which prompted several countries to diversify their sources of critical defense technology to enhance autonomy and political balance. Furthermore, the existing broad user base of this jet promotes multinational interoperability through standardized procedures, joint training, and cooperative mission planning, an important consideration for coalition operations within NATO or other alliances. The aircraft's ability to simultaneously support multiple aircraft types in mid-air refueling further enhances its strategic utility in integrated air operations. In short, the preference for this Airbus jet is deeply rooted in its operational excellence mature and adaptable technical platform, and strategic benefits related to industrial sovereignty and interoperability across alliances. These factors combine to attract nations looking to modernize their air refueling and transport capabilities while maximizing flexibility, minimizing risk, and supporting broader defense industry goals. Some countries have been hesitant to choose the Boeing KC-46 Pegasus for several key operational, technical, and strategic reasons. Operationally, although it is designed with modern avionics and can quickly reconfigure missions, it has a lower fuel capacity and payload than its competitors, limiting its ability to perform long-range or high-volume refueling operations, which are essential for strategic air transport for many countries. Furthermore, it also has a lower passenger capacity, only about 114 people compared to the MRTT's 300. This also reduces its versatility in multi-purpose transport for troop movements, medical evacuations, or humanitarian missions. 
Technically, it has faced persistent development challenges, delaying its maximum operational efficiency. Notably, the remote vision system, which allows the boom operator to control refueling, has suffered from image clarity and latency issues that have caused operational limitations and maintenance burdens. The aircraft has also suffered from boom stiffness and cargo floor strength issues, affecting cargo handling and durability. These unresolved technical issues increase risk for early adopters and raise concerns about life cycle costs and maintainability compared to the proven and mature A330M RTT platform despite benefiting from extensive global operating experience and a strong support network. Strategically, many nations are wary of over-reliance on U.S. defense platforms due to their political autonomy and supply chain resilience. In fact, Airbus's jet offers industry engagement opportunities such as local assembly, technology transfer, and integration within European and other multinational frameworks, which are more in line with the sovereignty and defense industry goals of countries outside the United States. In particular, the widespread adoption of MRTT worldwide also facilitates interoperability within NATO and coalition forces. While the export scope is more limited than that of Boeing's tanker aircraft, can Boeing fix the KC-46's problems fast enough to catch Airbus? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. The A330M RTT Plus marks a major upgrade, replacing the A330-200 with the more efficient A330A Neo A330-800 platform. Key improvements include a redesigned wing and more advanced Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines, which cut fuel burn by up to 8%. This increases range and unloading capacity, improving endurance and mission flexibility. The passenger cabin has also been upgraded to provide greater crew comfort. Strategically, Airbus is enhancing the tanker's connectivity to act as a communications node on the battlefield, supporting network-centric operations and real-time data sharing. The MRTT Plus maintains 95% airframe commonality with the current MRTT, streamlining training and maintenance while delivering improved efficiency, range, and digital capabilities. Expected to enter service in the coming years, it represents a significant leap forward in fuel efficiency, operational performance, and battlefield integration for multi-role transport and air refueling missions. In terms of orders, the MRTT jet has secured around 85 aircraft from 17 countries by 2025, with 65 already delivered. Its global customers include Australia, Canada, France, the UK, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, Spain, the United Arab Emirates, and members of NATO's multinational MRTT team. The platform accounts for around 90% of the next-generation aerial refueling market outside the United States. Notable recent orders include the Royal Thai Air Force's purchase of the advanced MRTT Plus variant with improved engines, aerodynamics, and connectivity scheduled for delivery in 2029. In contrast, the Boeing Pegasus, developed primarily to meet the needs of the U.S. Air Force, has a backlog of 179 aircraft, scheduled for delivery in 2027. While it plays a key modernization role in the U.S. military, its international export success has been more limited, with orders primarily from close U.S. allies. The KC-46 is facing operational and technical challenges that are slowing its global adoption compared to the more mature and widely deployed A330M RTT. The video ends here. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.